world of massive delusion. That's what the fuck is going on. You get down to the bottom line that everybody is not going to make it. Look around you. Is everybody even making it? Is everybody succeeding? Is everybody achieving? No, they're fucking not. The failures are the many. The successful are the few. The failures are the plenty. The successful are the rare. What if you why your world is yours? You get to this point where so many people would rather be like, it's positive to be positive. Everybody can make it. It's like, I'd rather be sober mentally, sober sentimentally, right? Sober in my emotional faculty and just look at life. Then you get to the point where it's like, yeah, superior existence, a greater level of existence, a higher quality of existence is reserved for those who deserve it, who are worth it. Now, so many people can listen to that statement and be like, well, how can you say someone's not worth it? You tell yourselves that you're not worth it. You're only worth what you're settling to be. You're only worth what you settle to be in this life. Now, if you truly had a higher standard of value for yourself, if you thought you were more valuable, you would never be able to operate lower than that high level of value. And the fact that you aren't what you apparently know is possible means that you don't think you're worth it. Because if you thought you were worth it, you would be that. And if you're not what you know is a better capacity, then it's because you don't think you're worth it. But if you your world is yours, a lot of y'all feel like y'all are entitled to shit, but you don't actually feel like you're worth it. You don't even feel like the work is worth it. Consider the vibrations raised. Understand that I'm not in this to help everybody. I'm helping all the people who are willing to help themselves. I'm here to usher the individuals who have that self-worth who understand their value, who are tired of depreciating their own existence and only need the answers to move forward as fast as possible. Because the absence of results, prosperous results, the absence of prosperity is the proof of confusion. The absence of results in a favorable direction, proof of delusion. All these individuals are so self-satisfied to say that they know some shit, but their existential condition is trash. They have nothing to show for all the shit that they say that they know. They're still broke, they're still addicted, they're still out of shape. You know what I'm saying? They're still walking around with these false conclusions about how the law of cause and effect can induce certain effects. Right, fuck your crystals, dog. That shit is not science, bro. We trying to get real prosperous material corresponding effects in this life to be able to apply our minds to design our physical paradigms along the lines of higher order existence. That's what the fuck is happening. Many people be asking me a sidebar. Everybody asks me, oh, what do you do? Do you understand what I just did in the past 30 seconds? And if you had a mind that could actually be fertile enough to conceive what the fuck I just said, then maybe you'd recognize that you need a friend like me in your existence and in your prospect, in your proximity. But you why your world is yours. The point of this message is everybody's not going to make it. So once we get to that point and we accept it and we embrace it and we don't run away from that fact, we then have to just ask ourselves, because so many people would go off on a tangent. Well, everybody can make it. I don't blah, blah, blah. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. The point now is between you and I, are you going to be amongst the failures? Or are you going to be amongst the rising, ascending, and the actually successful? Don't get into these subjective standards and these subjective weird-ass games with society. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm on my life. I believe in my... Fuck you. That doesn't count. It doesn't count when you live in your own little personal fantasy world where your feelings are the measure of results. No, you need to put some fucking winds up and be valuable and contribute value and be a constructive individual in a way that is remarkable and satisfactory across all eyeballs. You feel me? You look at an individual, you look at their body, look at who I used to be, look at Shiki Shi when he was a young dummy, a fucking punk. You know what I'm saying? Skinny, brittle, on smoking, all that weird shit. He was a weirdo, just like these motherfuckers. Now look at who he is and how he serves not only himself, but how he serves the world. Not just his local community, not his block, not his city, not his town, not his state, not his country. He serves the whole world. And when you realize that building yourself daily is serving the universe, because once you read the best kept secret and comprehend it, right? You don't just recite the words on the page and now you can regurgitate some sentences that make you think that you're intellectually superior when you lack comprehension, right? Once you read the best kept secret, you realize that you are it. And when you realize that you are it and comprehend that you are it, then you actualize the fact that you making you better is you making the universe better. 
And then when you make you as the universe better because you're inextricably linked to the universe, the only time you cannot perceive yourself as the universe is when you choose to not perceive yourself as the universe, when you delude yourself into separation. But even as you delude yourself into separation, you've never been extricated from the universe. You've always been one with the universe. So even if you delude yourself and think that you're separate, separateness is always going to be an illusion and a delusion. So once you get to that point, you recognize that you've always been the universe. You always are going to be the universe. And by you developing yourself and appreciating yourself and appreciating meaning increasing your value over time, you're making the universe a better place. And then you as an objective entity interact with the external universe or the latter universe, the other parts of the universe, and are an offering and an interactive high level offering where now you're exchanging a high value individual with other beings. Now, whatever you are, your world is yours. It takes a high level of consciousness to comprehend that. Still, the point of this is to recognize you need to first decide that you're worth it. Once you realize that you're worth it, you'll realize that you can never settle to be less than your value. Otherwise, you don't really value what you say you value. So once you value yourself, you know your value, you can't operate below that. And if you're not operating, you're not a super level, a higher level, superior level, super level, it's because you don't think you're worth it. You have to actually dig down and do that reconstruction. Become a high value person. So many people are failing to recognize that in this universe of objective results, in this universe of objective law, it is incumbent upon them to develop themselves and construct themselves to become a valuable being, become successful at being before ever thinking about receiving. I became a successful human. I became a successful human. You could have all the money. That doesn't make you a successful human. You can be in shape physically. That doesn't make you a successful human. I, you could be sober or it doesn't make you a successful human. You need to be sober, fit, enlightened all at the same time and actually. Then you're a successful human, right? Then you move on to the financial part and you're really a successful person at that point. I tell you why your world is yours. Everybody's not going to make it. Everybody's not going to make it. It's okay. I, I'm okay with not believing in people because people have proven over time that they should not have people believe in them. People should believe that they will fail because they have proven that they will fail. People lose confidence in people and most people will lose confidence in you until you start to actually prove that you're worth trusting and relying upon. Now, once you get into this state, everybody's not gonna make it. Don't try to get into weird ass arguments about, well, that's not nice and all that. It's, it's life, it's life. Go outside, look around. Go in the mirror, look at who you are. Are you making it? Are you being honest? What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Then you get to this point, you ask yourself, are you going to prove that you have comprehension and self-worth in this life? Or are you gonna prove that you don't have comprehension and self-worth in this life? There's no in-between. There's no in-between. Are you gonna prove that you're worth success by succeeding? Because I'm waiting to see it. I call people to succeed. I'm just tired of seeing people walk. I'm walking around. I'm like, God damn, you're fucking failing hard body at life. Why are you failing so hard at life? That's what I'm doing here. You know, but if you're okay with failing, then I can't help you. If you're no longer okay with failing, I can help you. Because the only reason you're failing is because now you don't know what you need to know. And you don't have the correct thought patterns and the thought paradigms that you need to be aware of as you go on the path. So while you get a mindset coach and you get a person who delivers you practical, measurable, goal-achieving pathways to success, I'm going to get you in the best shape possible. You need to do the fucking work. I'm going to help you learn how to cultivate yourself so that you can get more money in this life. You need to get money in this life. You need to be physically fit. You need to get enlightened. You need to know your value. Enlightenment leads to the highest level of self-worth. That's why the books are written in the way they are so that you can increase the value of yourself to yourself, so that you can never operate below your value. And the reason that you're not at where you should be is because you don't think you're worth it. And as one very important person to my trajectory in existence said, the work instills the worth. I don't put the work in, that's why you're worthless. So I don't think people aren't worth it, they think they're not worth it. 
rise up to a superior standard of existence and stop fucking around. That is, if you believe you're worth success. Everybody's not going to make it. I'm perfectly fine with that. It's better like that because the work ethic required filters out all the weak weirdos. The sobriety and the code of conduct, the superior conduct that is required, weeds out all the insincere weirdos. We don't want the weirdos around. So your conduct is what's going to block your blessings or help you ascend to the next step. Superior conduct helps you ascend. Superior conduct is what gets you in the door. It's the only cost needed to ascend in this existence. That's what they're not attempting to pay. That's what they're trying to avoid paying. Inferior conduct is going to be the root of all blocked blessings. You're going to be amongst the weirdos who are excluded from the higher planes of existence until you correct your conduct. And by every degree that you correct your conduct and you align your mind with the correct laws of life and you apply them and you become them, every degree your life liberates to a new degree to the point where you have a full degree of personal liberation in existential situations because you're no longer afflicted by addiction, slavery, that's not liberty. Being a slave is not liberty. Being addicted is not liberty. Being sober is being liberated from that suffering. Being physically fit, being liberated from gravity and being able to be physically able and capable at any given time. Some of y'all can't even walk up a flight of stairs. Some of y'all can't even do 10 push-ups, 20 push-ups. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I don't have that stamina, right? I have a proper vehicle. The soul is limited, not liberated when your physical vessel is trash. Third, enlightenment. Enlightenment is all about establishing a higher degree of self-awareness so that you can get to a higher degree of self-value and self-worth and you apply the principles. From there, you become a successful human. Once you become a successful human, once you become a successful human, you're now in the ballpark to help other humans succeed. And this is where money comes in. Whatever you why your world is yours, consider vibrations raised. The blueprint is out there. Like I said, I'm here for the people who are tired of failing and only want to succeed. I have the answers. It's time for you to become an answer. Consider the vibrations raised.